Hello, it's Gem Games, and in this episode we are going to add the ammo to the weapons. So yeah, let's get started. First, let's go to the weapons truck. Add a add a variable type integer. Let's call it ammo. Oh, ammo clip max and another. Ammo total max like this. Okay. Now let's open the weapon data table. Let's add a weapon uh, ammo clip max. Let's make it 30. Oh, that's 309. 30. And uh, ammo total max 180, for example. Okay. Now let's close these all and let's go to the PP third person character. Now we are uh, let's go to the set weapon stats from here we have to get this go to variable and this one also okay now i will remove this weapon data from the names like this and now we have to create a, another ammo clip max let's from here and promote to variable and it should be called uh, ammo clip current and I will move it to here so they are like near yeah and now we have to get the ammo total max and from here we have to remove or subtract the ammo clip max and promote this to a variable also and it should be called ammo total current okay yeah now we can close this and the fire weapon, fire macro, fire trace. Yeah. Uh, now we can try it. I already made this, so you don't have to do this, but um, ammo total current ammo clip current. You don't have to do this. Okay. I will I will just check if it works. Now it has has 30 and 150. It has 150 because I made it so it uh when it it removes the one clip from the total amount so yeah if the total amount is 180 and it adds 30 from to a one clip so it's 150 yeah okay so yeah now let's go here and the input action fire here we can actually add a branch to here And now we just have to check if the ammo clip current is greater, greater than zero. Like this. If it is, we can shoot. Okay. And now we can add, uh, create a new function. Decrement. Decrement. Uh, clip ammo for example and to here we have to get the set the uh, ammo clip current set like this uh, here we want to clamp and the meaning value should be zero and the uh, ammo clip max should be the max value like this and now we want to get the current uh, clip ammo clip current like this and minus one from it okay and we also want to add a add a branch to here just to be sure 
uh, ammo to crate has to be created created greater than zero also okay and now we have to go back to the event craft to here and custom event call it um, stop shooting or stop firing maybe now let's connect it to here okay now from here from the false we have to call the stop firing okay I will move this a little bit here now we have just add this to a fire weapon no fire trace fire trace to here after the recoil oh actually before the recoil we have that to add to decrement clip ammo okay now let's check if it all works and when we are shooting yeah when it's zero we cannot shoot anymore so yeah it should be all working now we can actually create a little hud for the ammos so we can see them on the screen a little bit better than on the print stream node okay okay now let's go to the first to here blueprints and uh, let's add, create a folder called hud let's open it let's create a blueprint class all classes widget player user widget game hard or player hard or whatever you want but this is for me the game hard actually I will change it to player hard <laughs> because it's better player player hard okay now let's open it let's add a canvas panel like this and now we can just add text to here and let's anchor it to, to here okay now let's change the text font size to for example 50 okay 50 should be good I will change this to a 200 this to like 80 okay and now I will change text for example to 30 and I will make it so it starts from the right okay and now we want to maybe okay I will add it position x 350 no 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 400 and y 150 you can put whatever you want here now we can I will change this to a current clip or ammo clip and then I will duplicate it and move it to uh, was it 150 minus 150 yeah minus 150 and I will make the text a little bit smaller, like 40, maybe 35. Okay, and now I will make the numbers to 50 so I can see it better. And then I will move it to minus 300, like this. Okay. Now I will change this to ammo max or ammo total. Okay, it shouldn't matter. Uh, I actually want the ammo total like this. And now we have to go to the graph and actually let's change this. Uh, Render opposite is to point eight. Point 
right? Okay. Now let's go to the graph and on event construct we have to cast to third ah no 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 first person character like this and then we want to get player character from there and from here we want to promote this to a variable like this as pp third person uh, first person character now we want to copy this to a tick also and we can actually make this a function called casts for example and now we can actually copy it copy it to here also so it looks cleaner okay now we have to go back here we have to uh, open this uh, ammo clip and let's find it create binding and now we have to get the SBB first person character. Ammo, get ammo clip current, like this. Now we have to connect it to here. Okay. And then the second one, we have to get the 150 bind, create binding. We have to also get this. Get ammo, uh, ammo total current let's copy it to here okay now we just have to open the go to the blueprints folder pp first person game mode like this open in full blueprint editor and let's add a begin play and from here create widget now we have to find the widget layer HUD and add to viewport like this okay compile save close and let's try now we have the ammo there and it is working so yeah you can change the HUD to whatever you want but this is just to so we can see the ammo but yeah I think this is all for this video and on the next one we are starting to create the reload function. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider to subscribe and yeah. Hope you have a great day and see you in the next one. Bye.